Hello everyone, this is your instructor Farwa Batul and welcome to the course of O-Level Computer Science. So, uh, up till now we have done the conversions of hexadecimal numbers and now we are going to see the current uses of hexadecimal numbers in computing. Yes, in this video I am going to list down all the uses that I have studied in the book or through different past papers to different resources of teachers. Alright, so I am going to share with you all those uses that I have seen in different um, resources, right? So, um, we will see the uses in a quick manner in this video and then for more detail, I am going to make a separate video on each of the use of hexadecimal number, right? So, uh, let me list down all the uses here and then we will see it in a quick manner, right? Uh, just coming back to you after listing it. Okay, so here we go. I have listed down all the uses of hexadecimal numbers in computing, right? So, let's see them one by one. The very first is memory dumps. What are memory dumps? These are basically the memory content, right, that is being displayed um, on a display screen or on a monitor or from a printer. You have taken it as a printout, right? So this is basically the memory content that is being displayed somewhere right so this is basically uh, used in terms of debugging in order to find out the errors in the program whenever a program crashes or uh, it ends uh, in an abnormal way then we used to uh, take print out of these memory dumps that shows us the memory content or at that time when the program crashed right so uh, in this way we can see the memory content and then find out where the error came so it is basically in the form of hexadecimal number right so memory dumps are basically in the form of hexadecimal number and in the detailed video that I have made um, we will be discussing it in more detail in my next video, right? So, moving towards locations in memory, yes. The memory locations are also displayed in the form of hexadecimal numbers because it is more easy to display it in hexadecimal form than in binary, right? So, uh, it takes lesser space, lesser display screen. Uh, so, that's why we use hexadecimal number system in order to represent the location of memory, right? So, uh, we will see in the memory dumps that how the locations of memories are being represented in the form of hexadecimal number system, right? So, the third one is color codes. Yeah, these are important. It is basically in HTML or in CSS, that is a markup language where we use the color codes in order to represent the colors of text, right? If I want to display the text in red color, for example, that what would be the color code for it? The color code for red would be hash FF0000. So this is basically the three pairs of hexadecimal numbers that are being used to represent color code. Say so, right, so this is how I can use it in order to represent my text in red color, right? So, this is the color code for it. So, the next is media access control the MAC address. Okay, MAC address is basically uh, something that is used to identify your machine on an internet, right? We know that internet, uh, in the internet, we have million and million of computers or machines that are being connected together, right? So in order to identify a single machine, what we need to do, we need to find out its media access control address, MAC address, right? So let's suppose I have a MAC address like... 001 C B3 uh, 4 F 25 FE 
So what is it? It is basically a group of six hexadecimal digits, right? And this is a MAC address for some kind of machine that is being uh, part of the internet or connected through an internet, right? So this is how we represented MAC address in form of hexadecimal number, right? Okay, so what is next? Next is my ASCII code, right? ASCII code are basically, um, I can say that on a keyboard, we have different characters, right? We have different uh, symbols, characters, numbers. So, the, uh, so any character in the, in a keyboard is being represented in form of ASCII code, right? For example, the ASCII code for hash is 23, right? Or the ASCII code for question mark is 3F, right? So this is a complete table that basically tells you that uh, what is the ASCII code or the hexadecimal number that is uh, representing a particular character on a keyboard, right? So these ASCII codes are also written in the form of hexadecimal numbers or decimal numbers, right? So this is another usage. Then we have URLs. What are URLs? These are basically the part of web addresses, right? Uh, in order to locate a website, we use URL that is also called a uniform resource locator, right? The full form is uniform resource locator uniform resource locator that is used to locate a website on an internet right so this is the url and the, these are also being represented in form of hexadecimal numbers i am going to tell you in more detail in the video that i will make for this url right then I have the seventh use that is assembly code and machine code. Yes, the programmers, the software developers use the assembly code and the machine code that is being written in the form of hexadecimal numbers, right? For example, I have a assembly code or an assembly instruction that is STOFFA4 right so what we are doing here we are using hexadecimal right in the assembly code and this is basically an instruction for storing a value in the accumulator or in a register right so uh, this is how we can use hexadecimal in assembly code or a machine code right and the final is error codes yes in order to show errors on the display right i for example i have an error that i have it as d03 which means page is not available let's suppose i am searching a web page on an internet and then it prompts me an error that is d03 it is basically what it is in the form of hexadecimal number which means page is not available right so sometimes we get 404 error web page error right so these are basically in the form of hexadecimal numbers right so this is another usage of this hexadecimal number system that is error codes we usually represent error codes in the form of hexadecimals and why we do this because it takes lesser display screen and lesser memory uh, memory in order to store it right so this is how we have uh, covered all the uses of hexadecimal numbers in a very quick manner and now i am going to me i am going to share uh, a separate video for all of these uses so that you can be more clear about each of it right so uh, it's a request and it is of course necessary for you in order to see all those videos so that you can better understand that how the memory dumps can be used in hexadecimal or how the color codes can be used and we are going to share the past paper examples as well uh, in those videos according to each of the topic we are going to discuss there so 
kindly watch all those videos and please do not skip it because it is very important to have a deep understanding of all these uses so that you can um, attempt the past paper question or you can attempt your exam question right so thank you so much for now and yes one more thing that in 2019 uh, may june probably yes In the paper of May June 2019, a question arised that is you need to uh, write two uses of hexadecimals. If I'm not forgetting, two uses of hexadecimals, right? And this is of two marks. So you can write any of these two there. Right, I have mentioned all the uses and for attempting this question that came in the past paper of 2019. So in order to list down any of the two uses, they have asked to list down two uses actually and it is of two marks. Right, so you can write any of these two. So it is important to uh, remember all the uses of hexadecimal numbers because it is important from your uh, paper point of view right so i hope this video is clear to you thank you so much for watching it and uh, see you in the next videos uh, where i am going to cover each of these topic in more detail along with the past paper examples right so thank you so much for watching stay tuned stay connected and please share it with other students as well okay take care bye bye